To select the winners of the 2016 RIBA Bronze and Silver Medals and the Sargent Awards for Drawing, we gathered two groups of renowned experts from academia and practice at the RIBA over two long days in mid-October. As chair of the Bronze Medal Judging Panel, I was joined by Alan Jones, RIBA Vice President of Education, Director of Education Architecture at Queen's University, Belfast. By Nick Clear, Head of Architecture at the University of Greenwich. <coughs> Alessandra Ciancetta, Founder and Partner AWP Architects. And by Charlotte Skeen Catling, Founder and Partner at Skeen Catling de la Pena Architects. And on the silver medal judging panel, Alan and I were joined by Winker Doubledam, Professor of Architecture at the University of Pennsylvania and Director of Architectonics in New York, by Natalie Rosenzweig, Founder and Director of Rare Architecture and Unit Master at the Architectural Association, and finally by Mel Dodd, Program Director of Spatial Practices at Central St. Martin's University of the Arts, London. After two exceptionally long but highly enjoyable days that included detailed viewing of thousands of images, hundreds of portfolios, and dozens of films and virtual reality animations, the judges selected the medal winners and agreed three commendations in each category. This is what happened over those two days. I think all the work we saw was extremely accomplished. It was a really incredible collection of work and very varied in terms of its focus. So it was a wonderful cross-section of what's happening, not only around the country, but, but internationally at degree level. It's very exciting. People are starting to understand that the kind of tactile and the, the details are really what architecture is ultimately. It's as important in a big or a small building. It was particularly inspiring to see how many diverse approaches to architecture um, we had today. And the sort of reflective nature of looking at how architects make work, the kind of futures that architects might be developing, was certainly something that was part of all of the projects that we saw. There was an incredibly broad range of, of ways of working from hand drawing and hand making through to some very, very kind of sophisticated use of computing to make images, but also computing to make models. Young graduates have this passion to want to uh, develop an idea with rigor, but a sense of overcoming what's uh, expected. All of them were incredibly diverse. They're all exquisitely beautiful. They don't feel like uh, degree projects. They feel much more accomplished than that. You get a sense that this is uh, a big range of backgrounds, big range of political, social, geographic concerns. To see such a variety and such a diversity of locations and uh, subjects that were being uh, considered and addressed through the work was a joy and uh, very impressive on behalf of all of those who submitted. Many entries were um, not about just designing an object, an architectural object or uh, an urban plan, but uh, more about agency and more about um, a complexity, delivering the complexity that is behind architectures. The ambition of the projects, I think, remains incredibly high, certainly at the, at the best level of attainment. Part of the joy of being a good designer, I think, is setting a tough problem and coming up with an aspirational solution or series of solutions. There's no attempt to steer the decision, to follow trends. Um, if you like, it's the universities and the students that set the trends. Questions that people were asking from very pragmatic, small-scale architectural resolution to questions about energy or geography or the environment, right down to sort of the high street and you know what we see when we're, when we're walking in local communities. There was real thought and originality in, in the way in which people were putting their ideas forward. It was great. 
there's a genuine intellectual curiosity, there's a genuine spirit of inquiry. Students entering the President's Medals competition routinely ask and attempt to answer and generally succeed in providing a whole range of solutions to, to say very successfully. The traditional skill set of architecture is to push the boundaries of architecture and architectural representation. What is the intellectual input in a project and how, does the, how consistent is that reflected in the design and the concepts and the way it's executed? You know, and that's an important discussion, I think. You know, it's, some, it's, it's one that doesn't come up very often. To give students this confidence by winning such a prize or being commended with something that's been uh, of interest uh, is, is a great start to your career. I think the value of the competition is that it provokes conversation. It asks the profession questions of itself. It asks students questions of, of, of them about how high they want to set the bar. So it's, it's really, it's about benchmarking just how curious we wish to be. In the bronze medal category, reserved for design work produced at RABA Part 1 or equivalent, the judges awarded the Sergeant Award for Excellence in Drawing to the project New Greenwich Civic Centre, a transformative architecture. The project seeks to question the very nature of Greenwich's relationship with the past by proposing a new modern civic centre that unashamedly caters for the modern age and places adaptation, flexibility and modern technology at the centre of its agenda. The result is a bold building that not only addresses the needs of modern society, but confidently draws attention to the role of architecture as an agent of transformation. The project was submitted by the University of Greenwich, where it was tutored by Rahesh Ram and Tom Noonan, and its author is Lucian Stefan Musano. The first of the three commendations in the bronze medal category goes to Lewis Art Foundry. The project imagines a new permanent base for the community of artists and makers of the Phoenix site in Lewis, who face losing the workspaces and homes they inhabited for 30 years as the result of a decision to redevelop the area for housing. Driving the design philosophy of the proposal is a fundamental belief that art and technology are inseparable in the creation of future living and working spaces. The project was tutored by Nick Popel at London South Bank University, and the author is Munib Ali Khan. Uh, the second commendation in this, in this category goes to a project submitted by the Architectural Association with the title, a long title, The 30 Years of Architecture, A Short Guide on Abandoning Accumulated Memories at the Mercy of an Inclement Weather. This is a housing project for the members of a building preservation trust to reside inside a gas holder over a 30-year period and explore the possibilities of building with materials that would otherwise be deemed neither apt nor structurally sound. By doing so, they lay the basis for a sharing economy where individual needs are met on the small component-based scale. The project was supervised by Ryan Dillon and its author and winner of the second commendation in the bronze category is Paolo Emilio Pisano.
Uh, the third commendation was awarded to the project Nuclear Now. Speculating on the controversial idea that nuclear power is the way forward for our energy needs, the project proposes a new micro-generating nuclear power station in London's Greenwich Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> Recognising the contentious nature of their intention, the developer, a well-known Tokyo-based multinational conglomerate with a recent history of investments in the UK, creates a Japanese-themed festival within the power station which will utilise the byproducts from the power generating process to grow tea, farm fish for sushi, and produce exotic fruit as a way to promote nuclear power. The project was tutored by Raha Sharam and Tom Noonan at the University of Greenwich, and the author is Samuel Rahman. And now, the bronze medal. This is awarded to the best design project produced by, during RIBA part one, or its equivalent, in a school of architecture located in one of the 71 countries invited to take part in the awards. The winning project is entitled Formless, an alternative typology for present preservation. Formless takes a theoretical path informed by the ideas of Rem Kohlhaus and Jorge Otero Payos towards an alternative typology for preservation. It introduces a compromise between the desire for pres preservation and the cultural shift necessary for architectural expansion in the city's future. Interpreting the concept of formless in preservation as a process of transforming and reframing spaces, the author redefines our views of architecture and heritage as being part of an endless architectural development. To illustrate this, the author imagines the expansion of London's Soan Museum until the year 2075. By factoring in the potential for a massive shift in the public desire for preservation, the extension of the museum turns it into an architectural workspace for repairing and creating artifacts for preservation, thus redefining the socially constructed static notions of place and their significance in history and heritage. Nominated by Newcastle University and supervised by Josep Maria Garcia Fuentes and Aldric Rodriguez Ibora, the author of the project and winner of the 2016 RIBA President's Bronze Medal is Alan Yuk Lun Chong. is all wet. <laughs> so, um, um, good evening, guys. Um, I'm truly happy to, uh, and honored to be here tonight. And I'm so grateful for uh, having this nomination. First and foremost, thank you all the judges uh, for giving me this award and recognition. Um, this is the greatest encouragement for me to keep learning and uh, studying and contributing in the architecture world. So, um, of course, uh, first, most importantly, I would like to thank the architect, uh, Sir John So. Uh, without your <laughs> architecture and ideology, I wouldn't get any inspiration, and even I wouldn't get such an architectural masterpiece for my final year project. 
And I would like to take this opportunity to offer my sincere gratitude to the Director of uh, Architecture in Newcastle University, uh, Mr. Graham Farmer, for making my university education possible. Um, also, my design tutors, uh, Joseph and Audric, uh, their encouragement and uh, guidance helped me to continue to make improvement in my work. Um, so, uh, a grateful remark to those who triggered my architecture journey, in particular, Mr. Ivan Fu, Ivan Lam, Michelle Yong, and also my first architecture tutor, uh, Mr. Thomas Kern. Uh, your words and your work always inspire my life. I'm also blessed with my lovely friends, uh, including Audrey Choi, Chad, Francis, Jalen, Cousin Learn, Gordon Lee, uh, Patrick Chu, Ken Chen, and Garen Ku, who, who always uh, provide me, uh, me advice when I was disappointed and frustrated. Uh, and I would like to mention and appreciate uh, Wallace, uh, Wallace Ho, uh, Wu Chen, and Debbie. Uh, who always take care of my models and my work uh, when I was taking shower in the studio. <laughs> so, um, lastly, I would like to thank my family, in particular my mom and Isabella Chen. I've received uh, an, uncondi an unconditional love and support uh, throughout my undergraduate study. And I will keep always um, improving myself in the future and, uh, and as always, uh, thanks architecture. Um, thanks everyone and enjoy tonight. Thank you indeed. Congratulations to our part one winners.